can't offend people. Don't offend people. Uh, I, I, I wish there was a hierarchy of, of what's considered okay, where comedy would be the top thing and then people's feelings would be underneath it. But somehow over the years, people's feels became more important than comedy as a whole. So, yeah. They said something and it hurt my feelings. Okay. I know this is just like, and we, we cover this so many times, you know, people being offensive. And I kind of wish comedy would get away from people, you know, the topic of people being offended. Because, you know, between the last few serious um, stand-ups I've seen, like Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, etc., um, they dwell a lot on, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that. And it, it's a reoccurring theme that I, I feel comedy really needs to move past, you know? And the thing is to just, and it's important to address the issue, but now that it's been addressed, I feel like comedy should just be like, all right, oh, okay, I'm going to say this. And if if crowd is like, oh, you know, have that comeback, have that line that says, Oh, that offends you, but you know, you'll do this, you know, and just be combative and be like, you know what, you know, yourself, because you know, you're, you're being a hypocritical prick onto the next joke. You know, that's the way it should work at this point. We got to evolve past this. We got to move past everybody's feelings and worrying about whether somebody is offended, hurt or whatever like that. And again, I have to reiterate, that doesn't mean go out of your way to be offensive towards people. But you can't curb language for the sake of a handful of people, like three, or twelve, or even a hundred that might be upset because, you know, you said something. Yeah. I think comedy needs to go back to nothing is off limits. If you get offended, then don't go to comedy shows. Yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. It's like, for everybody who, you know, goes to a D Dave Chappelle show and then is offended... To the point where they got to run up on stage. Um, why are you there? He, the bro, literally has your money. Like you literally supported them. Well, I went there to protest, but you gave them money. They're getting a sandwich after the show, thanks to you. You know, dude, you don't like something, you don't go. That's all. Yeah. That would be that would be the ultimate comedic comeback. I'd be like, what do you mean you're offended? You literally paid for this. You know, so if you go home crying, I did my job. On to the next joke. It's just, it's just so weird. Um, even what's her face? Uh, was it the one from Friends? Uh, Aniston. Yeah, she said that it's like because she's working on a new uh, movie with Adam Sandler or whatever, and she kind of, you know, mused about how it's so difficult to do comedy now because everyone. You know, with its within script writing, they're like, "Oh, we, no, you can't do that. Can't do that." Da, da 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 da. You know, and her assessment is like, "Look, we all need to laugh at ourselves and not take things so seriously." Yeah, but you know, since Aniston is older, right, a younger generation will automatically dismiss them because they're old. They don't know what they're doing. They're older generation. You guys are the problem. You know that kind of thing. So, you know, her perspective on well, people weren't this sensitive back then is basically saying like kids you guys are way too sensitive now and then them getting offended i'm surprised no one has really looked into the origins of this wave of emotions come first thinking i know it's always been there but this is more than just regular discourse no you blame the schools you blame institutions for making everybody think that they're special i mean that's what it is it's an overinflated ego that makes everybody think that they're emotional state is more important than everything around them, you know? And this is why, this is why if you live in a household where one person has issues, whether it's a mental instability, blah, 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 mental health issues, everybody else is held hostage based on that one person's emotional state. Why? I find that ridiculous. Again, I have no problem with people being supportive. I think it's very important that you are supportive of people that might have mental health issues because that's what it is. But there is a fine line where one person's inability to live and function properly should not basically be more important 
than four, five, six, seven, eight other people trying to just function. You know what I'm saying? That's not fair. It's, it's, it's a basic needs of the many kind of thing, you know? And I feel like everyone's just like, well, let, let's, let's walk on eggshells around this person because they're in a state, you know? As you get older, you gain perspective and can see beyond what is right in front of you. Younger generation, as you have said before, just reads the title and forms an entire opinion on that without understanding the whole picture. Yeah, but, and they also take things way too seriously because they don't, unfortunately, have a world view. They don't have that life experience to realize that, you know, kind of like when you're in high school and you think high school is is the most important part of your life. You grow up, you look back at high school as a joke, and you're like, why do they take any of this stuff so seriously? So when you tell your kids, if you have them and are having issues in high school, look, high school isn't the end of the world. It gets better when you get out. They're like, no, but you don't understand. You do. They just don't want to accept that understanding. So there is that mental brick wall you do hit. And that's why older generations get frustrated with younger generations and younger generations get, you know, upset with older ones because younger generations put so much importance on the little things that adults in retrospect realize are just stupid because not for nothing, bro back here, right? For the turmoil he had to deal with in high school and all that other crap, if, you know, if he knew then what he knows now kind of thing, he would have had a field day. He would have had the time of his life in high school because it would have been a mesmerizing intellectual apocalypse within that school where he would basically put, make everybody on the, in the entire campus walk around his fields because he would be able to do that, you know? just within the guidelines and all that other stuff. And, uh, you know, the acting alone, right? Um, and you wouldn't care because you wouldn't take anything seriously, you know? But back then, you're in it. Younger generations also experience time in a very different way than older generations as well due to the difference in responsibilities. You're meaning they have none. <laughs> like, well, I, I feel like younger generations now have less responsibilities, you know? None of them want to drive. Nobody wants to work. Hey, I don't blame them. Who wants to? Um, you know, and they just they just want to be in their world. That's fine. And I get it. I, I want to be in my world. I, I get really agitated when I got to get pulled out of it. Um, but there are responsibilities. Hey, I woke up. I paid bills. That's what I did. Did I want to? No. I could have spent that 40 minutes playing a video game. Hmm. In middle school, I tried to change to fit in. When I got into high school, I stopped caring. I believe the reason I tried to change was hitting being gay. When I entered high school, I was out and no longer cared to fit in. There you go. See, uh, at, le at least at that point, you know, you get your group. You know what I'm saying? You know, or you, you solidify your identity. There's, depending on the time where you grew up, like if you grew up in the 80s and stuff and stuff like that, that's difficult because it was a completely it people are more accepting now of that back then this one little effeminate yeah i know big surprise um you have no idea the crap you get if you're if you're a guy and you're a little like hey how's it going hey everybody in the face <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, every, every, every other day there was something thrown at you for some godforsaken reason. And you're just like, hi. And they're just like, get him. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> yeah. I mean, different times. It's easier now in a sense, but then you also have the online variable, which is just, you know, uh, terrible. It also depends on the school, man. You know, if you have a good faculty that can kind of support people of, you know, different lifestyles, different, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's it's more of an open kind of thing. But if you have a very stringent, staunch kind of like, well, whatever, deal with it. You know, that kind of thing. You're almost doomed. You know? And I didn't mind growing up Gen X. It's just a lot of the people around were super intolerant, whether you're quiet, where you're a little, little bit, um, whatever, 
I guess effeminate of um what whatever. It's just like difference was kind of bad, but people had that I would say in individualized emotional strength to persevere that. At least most of the time. You know, you had some people who just couldn't handle it and cracked. Um but you know, it it, it is what it is and you know, blah blah blah, but um, I don't know. It's just, I, I feel like now that everybody is so concerned about everybody being accepted and stuff like that, which is good. Unfortunately, that removes any growth due to conflict, you know? So if everybody is like super accepting of everything all the time, then there's no conflict of like, well, I don't agree with this. All right, well, let's work this out. Why? But I don't like this, and I don't like that. Blah, 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 blah. You, there has to be. There has to be, like, conflict for growth and whatnot, and it's not like, well, this is about me and everyone else can, bleh, you know? Because that's not the way the world works. But 